Do you ever wonder what's just below the surface of soil? Some people call this dirt, but I prefer to call it soil. Soil is very important to me because it's really what makes all of this grow in my gardens. And there's so much complexity to soil. To me, that's fascinating. In fact, it's its own little ecosystem. It's full of all kinds of microbes and insects. The more we know about it, the better plants we can grow. First things first, to understand soil, you have to look at it in layers or horizons. You see there are six commonly recognized master layers which go all the way down to the actual bedrock. But for today, let's just focus on the top two. First is the organic matter that is deposited on the surface. This is usually made up of plant and animal residue. This blankets all of the horizons of the soil, protecting from erosion and feeding the layers below. The next layer is what we know as topsoil. This layer is where the most biological activity occurs, housing earthworms, arthropods, nematodes, fungi, and microorganisms among the minerals and decomposed organic matter. As you can imagine, this layer is the primary source of nutrients for your plants, making it the most important to understand for your garden's success. You know, recognizing the composition of your soil can tell you a lot about how certain plants will do in your garden. If you find that your soil, after testing, is deficient of certain things, it can often be easily amended. I like to use organic fertilizers to beef up my topsoil because it keeps my garden environmentally friendly while giving my plants the things they need to grow strong and healthy. You see, I think using natural fertilizers, minerals and compost, can help boost the value of your soil. Compost adds the living elements like microorganisms and beneficial insects. Fertilizers can bring up the mineral content up to where it needs to be to suit the plants that you're growing. I can tell you it's worthwhile to dig a little deeper and get to know those little guys in your soil that are working so hard. Believe me, when you get your soil right, your garden and your plants will thank you for it.